well youtube family we we got another one man it's a lot of things going in these youtube streets before i show you the highlights in the videos let me just tell you another man got indicted again and in being involved in this young Dolph case but he got indicted for the covington shooting we're gonna break that down all the way but first thing i need y'all to do before we release this story i need y'all to go ahead and smash that like button hit that notification button and come rock out with i smoke hip-hop live we are back ladies and gentlemen i'm back from vacation no more breaks until the next year's summer but let's start it with that fbg duck intro <laughs> YouTube family, make sure you hit that like button and come support the platform. Hit the notification button and rock out with I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Let's do this and build it as a family. Salute. Without further ado, the Young Dolph case gets a little bit more brazier. It gets a little bit more wild. Now, a man that was indicted in a woman's fatal shooting, you guys know about that already. Well, his car was Link to the Young Dolph shootings. And we told you guys this already in the beginning of, I think, the, the earlier year of January and February. We broke it how these vehicles was already linked to other substantial evidence in the case. Now, if you guys don't know what's going, this man on your screen, Teron Ingram, well, before I even get started, I'm gonna let the news itself speak for him. So without further ado, let's let the news talk away. Year old Trayon Ingram has been indicted for a murder in Covington last November. At the time of the brutal shooting, police believe he was in a white Mercedes. The same month, about an hour away, Memphis rapper Young Dolph was murdered. After his death, Memphis police releasing this picture of this white Mercedes, believed to be the getaway car in his shooting. Back in November, Covington police released this statement to WREG about the car. We also feel confident that the vehicle used in the shooting of Young Dolph was also used in our shooting. We are working closely with the Memphis Police Department and other agencies. Tonight, the department's new police chief will only say, This vehicle that was involved in this case was a stolen vehicle out of Memphis. In January, we tracked down the owner of the white Mercedes. She told me at the time her relative had been borrowing the car when she was carjacked at an East Memphis gas station. I, was, I really thought they were gonna kill her. Jimmy Chambers, a gang investigator who has also worked with youth for decades, says when a car is stolen, now the woman you heard speaking we'll go back to the news report and we'll break it down even more now the woman you heard speaking was the witness that we released when everybody was having a lot of hoopla and uh, basically guesstimating what happened to Dolph I was actually doing real journalism we covered this woman as far as we didn't get her name at the time and then I had to look for it the news got it I think they used one of my stories in November this woman was carjacked like a couple of days prior to Dolph being killed. The woman got chased down and I think one of her friends even got shot. I'm not mistaken. I got to go back to that report. But I was trying to tell you how much more suspects are going to start being charged. A lot of people didn't understand it was evidence situations that was not substantial enough. And then lack of evidence in the Dolph case too. But they had that. They're waiting for things like DNA and witness cooperation this white bins that you're watching here on your screen brought a lot of demise for a lot of dudes who are behind bars right now straight drop being the famous one but you know about all the other folks and you even know about mr barnett who's still allegedly on the run this thing man look they're playing a duck duck goose game right now and they're playing chess i'm not saying that they have all the evidence they need but they have enough evidence to put pressure on folks in them to get the squealing talking or aka quote unquote snitching let's get back to the actual news topic it's likely to be tied to other crimes that's actually a norm when youth go out and steal cars they use those cars to do various various of crimes uh from petty theft to those to carjacking 
then they dump those cars and then they get, get another car. As for Ingram, we went to his last listed North Memphis address to see if someone could speak to us about him. The police came by here at the beginning of March. A woman who came to the door said she recently moved to the home, but officers had been looking for him too. They came, you know, walking. They had the back covered, the side covered. We told her about his charges and the white Mercedes. Mm, I just don't have no words. It's kind of scary, but knowing that this was his last address, because anyone could be looking for him and to come here due to the fact that this is his last address. Stephanie Gregg, Ingram is currently in DeSoto County Jail tonight. Now, we did reach out to MPD to see if they could tell us anything about that white Mercedes. They told us all available information has been released. It's more news report on the situation. I'm gonna wait before I play that because I wanted to get into the situation, man. You can see that the, the man here who's been indicted in the ladies' vehicle, uh, a shooting and a, a drilling situation, he's got indicted on that. But it looks like the DA is gonna bring charges for him and on him with the young dog shooting. Now, according to Covington Police CPD, officers discovered a vehicle with two people inside who had been shot multiple times so i am correct the lady has been shot and her friend been shot as well now the victims had just left the football game at the covenant high school when a white mercedes blocked the intersection this one we're talking about the high school shooting two different ones you have the ones with the kids involved and then you had this vehicle here now two suspects and basically they were masked up if you guys are paying attention they were masked up and, and, and ready to do bodily injury and, and, and harm in the situation. Now, the car that we know that was used, they, the apartment said on Tuesday, Police Chief Donna Turner would not say that the vehicle was involved in the case was stolen out of Memphis. But in January of this year, which I already explained to y'all, they tracked down the owner of the white Mercedes and she told us the time of her uh, um her relative has been borrowing the car when she was carjacked at an east memphis gas gas station that is now i'm gonna put the links in the description box so you guys can go to that earlier video that i did a few months ago so you can look and get engaged with it now jimmy chambers the gang investigator who you've seen speaking he's all for far well too familiar with this i'm gonna play another situation of a news clip that goes a little bit further and deeper on the situation well right now covington police detectives they say they have indicted at least one of the two suspects in a November 12th shooting in Covington. And what's really interesting, that November 12th shooting in Covington involved that white Mercedes Benz uh, involved in the shooting death of rapper Young Dolph. Now the man they have indicted is Trayon Ingram. And during their investigation, they say Trayon Ingram was taken into custody at the DeSoto County Detention Center in Mississippi on unrelated charges and later was found to be in possession of the weapon, weapon connected to the shooting in Covington. Now, detectives worked jointly with DeSoto County and the Memphis Police Department investigations teams to gather evidence in the case. Both victims in the Covington shooting shot multiple times. And again, sadly, one woman did lose her life on the scene. Now, that white Mercedes Benz used in the killing of young Dolph, again, is the same car used in this November 12th Covington shooting. At this point in time, we are asking if Ingram, Trayon Ingram, is also involved in the killing of young Dolph. Is he connected? We learned early on a lot of people were involved with the stealing of that car between the time it was stolen, actually carjacked. Uh, from a Kirby gas station in early November of 2021 and then November 12th, the Covington shooting and then November 17th, the shooting of Young Dolph. Of course, we're going to continue to stay on top of this story all throughout the day here on Fox 13 News. Brand new information, so stay with us. Reporting live this morning here at 201, Jeremy Pierre, Fox 13. Man, Jeremy Pierre be on it though, but it, it's just been a lot of up and down in the world when with this situation and and people been bringing it up as far as detectives believe the shooting was gang related and targeted as well man police said last year they already confirmed the mercedes was used in that same situation and during the investigation suspect taryn ingram 22 was taken in custody at the desoto county detention center in mississippi the silp on unrelated charges you know what i'm saying he was later found to be in a possession of weapons connected to the shooting as well 
So it, it was a lot of crazy situations being tied to it, but they were just playing chess with the situation. Now, uh, Terran was later, uh, um, you know, placed on, on a detainer in Mississippi and a $1 million bond that's been set in Tippin County case as well. So it's, it's a lot of things heating up, man. Things are catching up. Things are kind of getting out of here. Now, on a later news, you know, Straight Drop is asking to be released and transferred to a new uh, um, institution. And we'll get on that with a separate video. So y'all pay attention to a separate video we're going to do on that as well. Uh, um, it, it's just a lot. I keep t telling y'all Straight Drop wasn't this mastermind and quit doing that to people's cases. You know, when you do that, you kind of mess it up for whoever has to do with the situation but look man on a later note i'm your guy dj bless one thank you for watching this video man i need y'all to smash that like button hit that notification bell and keep watching our videos and stay tuned i'm gonna bring them 12 videos a day again every single day at least minimum eight videos a day i got y'all man this is your dj bless one thank you for watching another episode of i smoke hip-hop live <laughs>